at the end of the mine tunnels for the strike that's idled the operations at the Lucky Friday in Mullen for two and a half years. United Steelworkers Local 5114 could have ended the extended walkout today, but workers overwhelmingly rejected the latest offer, and that sends both sides back into talks for the mine just west of Lookout Pass. It's, uh, it's tough. It's two and a half years of not being normal and have not having a normal life. And that abnormality will continue. It's now back to the negotiating table between the union representing Lucky Friday Miners and Hecla, the company that operates the mine in Shoshone County. This is video just before the votes were counted this afternoon. A handful of miners were on hand to hear the results. You know, we need to move forward. Dan Diker, a mechanic in the mine, indicated he was ready to get back to work. You'll recall that two and a half years ago, the union voted to strike after contract talks fell apart. Work teams and assignments had been a sticking point for the miners. Previously, senior miners were allowed to pick teams and bid on assignments. Last month, Hecla told us they proposed that the company will be able to assign where the miners work and who they're with. But a majority of union members shot down the offer today. It was a decent proposal. It's better than what they implemented. Diker spoke for himself and not on the union's behalf, we should note. Here are the results. Almost 190 miners could vote. 157 ballots were mailed back to the union, and the proposed contract was narrowly shot down. I burned over $80,000 of 401k to make ends meet. He says he's not the only one. We've been told some miners have since moved out of the Silver Valley to take other jobs. A union rep says they'll now go back to negotiating with Hecla, and it appears this picket camp won't go away. I don't know if Hecla is going to negotiate anymore, and then we're going to be jobs lost up there to anybody. The Lucky Friday miners went on strike in March of 2017, accusing Heckle of unfair labor practices. While there had been some limited silver, lead, and zinc production using salaried staff, a year ago Heckle said the strike had already cost the company more than $14 million.